Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video I want to share with you one simple idea that when I learned this, it took my blues guitar solos to the next level. So let's get straight into it here. I'm going to be sharing this with you in the key of A, and it's really going to be going over just a simple blues shuffle pattern here. I've got the open A and the second fret of the fourth string and then going up to the fourth fret. So that's our pattern there. Now when it comes to soloing over this, or playing over a blues in the key of A, I recommend learning your A blues scale. And I talk a lot about this on my channel and in my programs, and that's gonna look like this at the fifth fret. Now what I might do is start with those notes and sort of treat them as like an available pool of notes to create melodies with and bend some of the notes and start soloing. And I would start at the fifth fret. Here's what that might sound like. So I'm just taking a couple notes from the scale, I'm doing some bends, some small phrases, and that's where a lot of players start. Now that sound has actually a, a real kind of gritty sound to it when you go. Now that's a very bluesy, gritty sound. Now what you can try to sweeten this up a little bit is take that scale and move it down instead of starting on the fifth fret, start it on the second fret. And this is gonna give you an F sharp minor blues or minor pentatonic. Right? And so let's listen to what that sounds like over the rhythm. So it has a sweeter sound. Now I'm gonna go back to back here. I'm gonna play that sweeter sound, then move it up three frets. We'll get that real gritty bluesy sound and then move it back down for the sweeter sound. Check it out. Now the sweeter. So it gives you another flavor, but a lot of the times you can take the same licks or the same vocabulary, shift it down, and you've got a whole new sound that you can tap into without having to learn a bunch of new scales or a bunch of new licks. The idea is you take what you know, and it's almost like, I think of it like a dish towel or something. You're just, you're just like wringing it out and getting as much out of it as you can. Now, a great example of a solo that does this is actually Eric Clapton's solo on Crossroads, the live version with Cream. He starts it off, he's in the key of A, so same key, and he goes. Right there. So see that? It's literally exactly what we're talking about here. So he starts there. And all of that, then he goes up higher. And then right here, So that second part there goes to the grittier A minor blues scale, right? Mm -hmm. 
all of that as opposed to where we started that sweeter sound. Now I call that sweeter sound more of like a BB King sound. It's, it's a sound that BB would use all the time, like right in the BB box. And then the harsher sound. So you start having these different flavors that you can mix into your guitar solos. And that was a game changer for me. It was sort of like I went up to the next level. That, that first level is just using that A minor blues scale. And that's a great level. I mean, there are players that built entire careers just using that first level. But this, this sort of next sound now gives you another flavor that you can mix in. Now to help you map this out anywhere on the fretboard and just tie in these scales and patterns so you can create your own solos, go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide and I wanna give you a free PDF that dives deeper into this and shows you how I look at this anywhere on the neck. So grab that as my gift to you. You could also just click the first link down below and I'll get that sent over to you right away. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and for more blues soloing, check out this video next.